This is part 6 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different places where JavaScript can be present and the advantages of external JavaScript over inline JavaScript. JavaScript can be stored either inline on the page, as you can see in this example, or in an external .js file. First, let's look at the user interface that this HTML provides us with. This is how the user interface looks like. We've got this literal text number, Followed by that, we have this ASP.NET text box control into which the end user can enter a number. And then once we click this button check number, it's going to call a JavaScript function which is going to check whether the entered number is even or odd. For example, here we have entered number 10. When we click the button, notice that it says 10 is even number. If we enter an odd number and click the button, it says 11 is odd number. Now let's look at the HTML and JavaScript that we've got on the page. So first, let's look at the HTML that's present within the form tag. Notice that we have that literal text number. Followed by that, we have this ASP.textbox control with ID textbox1. And following that, we have an HTML button. Now, you may be wondering, why didn't we use ASP.NET button control? When we use ASP.NET button control, and when you click on that, it's going to post the form to the server. And we don't want that to happen. All we want to do is when we click that button, we want to call a JavaScript function which is going to check whether the number that we entered in this text box is even or odd. So that's the reason why I'm using this HTML button. And when we click on this button, we are calling this JavaScript function is even. And if you look at what this function is doing, we are retrieving the value that we have entered in text box one and storing that in this variable number. And then we are checking when this number is divided by two, if the reminder is zero, then we are displaying a message within the alert box saying number is even number, otherwise odd number. Now, in this example, the JavaScript function is present in line on the page, and we have seen this in action just now. Now, let's see how to store this JavaScript function in an external JavaScript file and then reference that external JavaScript file on this form and use that is even function the same way as we did now. So the first step is to add that external JavaScript file to this project. So right click on the project within the Solution Explorer, add a new item, and under the Web tab, select JScript file and give it a meaningful name. Let's name it external JavaScript. And JavaScript files have .js extension. Now let's move this JavaScript function from the page into that external file. So within the external JavaScript file, we have our JavaScript function. And we want to use this function on this web form, which means we will have to reference that file on this web form. So how are we going to do that? We use the source attribute of the script element source equals and we specify the name of the file external javascript.js and this file has got that is even function and when we click this button we want to call that javascript function so pretty straightforward now let's run this and see if it's going to work the same way as before so when we enter an even number check number 10 is even and when we enter an odd number 11 is odd number all right, now let's look at the advantages of external JavaScript over inline JavaScript. There are several advantages. The first one is maintainability. JavaScript in external files can be referenced on multiple pages without having to duplicate the code inline on every page. Now let's say, for example, in our project, we have got like 10 web forms. And on that all 10 forms, we want to use this is even JavaScript function. Now, if it's present in an external JavaScript file like this, then all you need to do is reference that file on all of those 10 forms and then use the function. Now, tomorrow, if there is a problem within that function and if we have to change it for some reason, then you only have one place to change. So maintainability is much easier. On the other hand, if you have this function in line on every page and if it has to change, you will have to change it on all the 10 different files. Now, what is the problem with that? The problem is, number one, that process is tedious because you have more files to change now. And the other one is, it's error prone. You may forget to change it on one of the files. And the behavior on that file is obviously definitely not what we expect. 
So storing JavaScript in an external files you know, makes it reusable and maintainability will also be much easier. The other advantage is separation of concerns. Storing JavaScript in a separate external .js file adheres to separation of concerns design principle. In general, it's a good practice to separate HTML, CSS, and JavaScript as it makes it easier working with them. Now just imagine what's, what does this page look like if we have all the HTML, all the JavaScript, and all the CSS on the same page. Obviously the page is going to look much cluttered. You know, it's not easy to read um, the pages if we have everything on the given page. Whereas if you put CSS in its own CSS file and JavaScript in its own JScript file and HTML on the web form, you know, we have them clearly separated. Now if there is a problem with the logic on the page, then we know that we have to look in the JavaScript file. If it's a problem with the styles, then we know we have to look at the styles, which is CSS file. If it's a problem with the HTML, then we know we look at this web form. Right? So separation of concerns. And it also allows multiple developers to work simultaneously on these different files. And the other greatest advantage is the performance. An external JavaScript file can be cached by the browser, whereas an inline JavaScript on the page is loaded every time the page loads. Thank you for listening and have a great day.